We've spent a lot of time in this chapter talking about expand, but there are some other virtual instruments we should look at before we close out our look at MIDI and Pro Tools. So I've given you a session called Virtual Instruments, which has an iteration of Boom, the organ, DB33, the piano, and one of the synthesizers. First, I'll tell you that I used this pencil tool in line mode to create MIDI notes for the boom to play. So I just drew with a pencil and it gave me, let me zoom in here so you can see it. It gave me a series of notes, of whole notes that is, so that I have 16 bars of time to play when I get to the mix window. So let's look at these four. I have the drum sequencer open now. 20 years ago, they were hardware, you know, the 808, the 909, the various iterations of the Roland sequencers. We're counting 16 notes in a row, playing a pattern like this. Here are the various sounds. Here is them either playing or not. You hear notes on the red dots and you don't on the unlit dots. So let's put a crash on the downbeat there. And let's put a ride on the second bar. It sort of makes more sense back here somewhere, I think. It's kind of getting lost in there. Let's do a double hit on the ride. So that's how you can edit a particular part. You have a choice of drum kits down here, different sounds for that same pattern. So there's Urban One. Let's see what it sounds like with the 80 playing that very same pattern. Different kind of ride there. As we've seen before, all your patches are stored up here. You can see them sorted by folders like that. You can see them sorted by pages like this. I gave you this patch, but there are lots of other ones to pick from here. Again, if you want to save one, go to Preset, Save Settings As. It'll put it in the right place. And the one caution here is you won't hear any sounds coming from the sequencer until you give it a note in the sequencer for it to play, for it to sync to. Let's jump over to the organ. So you can turn on the key click. So lots of choices here for draw bars and the various sounds that make up a B3. You have choice of cabinets here. You can design the parameters for your cabinet, how much distortion you want, how much spinning you want, spinning slow or fast. So that's the organ. Let's look at the piano. We've seen this before, but notice how I switch tracks over here. It doesn't necessarily switch the plug-in here. We have lots of choices here. I call it real studio with a little bit of reverb and slight amount of dynamic response. And then there's your output volume there. So not a lot to do on the piano. You can really contour the sound, but you can't do a lot. And that's true of a piano generally, I guess. So let me uh, switch to this plug-in. And so this is the most complicated of the four. So this is Pro Tools Synthesizer. So you have oscillators, you have filters, a high pass, a low pass, and then modulation controls. You can arpeggiate the phrase. So if I play multiple notes, of course I have the rate of arpeggio over here, the mod wheel. We'll introduce a type of modulation that you've designed over here. So lots of choices for leads, basses, arpeggios, percussion, and then some nice effects back here on the fifth page. Now I noticed that my organ became undone and I don't want that. So I'm gonna go instrument DB33, put it back over here. So there's the boom, there's the organ, there's the piano, there's the vacuum. And those are the other virtual synths inside Pro Tools.